prostate cancer. George, a 70-year-old man, was admitted to the hospital due to certain urinary problems such as pain and difficulty in passing urine, weakness in bladder control, blood in his urine, burning sensation and pain on his back and pelvic area. Significant assessment findings revealed his history as a smoker. He was a retired mechanic. His usual diet includes high-fat foods and red meat. And his deceased father was once diagnosed with prostate cancer. The prostate is a gland of the male reproductive system and it surrounds the base of the bladder and it has two lobes that surrounds the urethra. It is divided into three zones, peripheral zone which is closest to the rectum and can be easily felt during a digital rectal examination and this portion of gland accounts for approximately 75% of the prostatic cancers. The central zone and the transition zone, which is responsible for the disease of benign prostatic hyperplasia. The main function of the prostate is to secrete an alkaline fluid that constitutes 30% of the volume of the semen. This fluid is rich in protein and minerals that maintain and nourish sperm, such as zinc, proteolytic enzymes, and prostate-specific antigens. To function properly, the prostate needs male hormones such as testosterone, which are produced mainly by the testicles. At the level of the prostatic cell, testosterone, it is converted into dehydrotestosterone, which regulates the gland. Prostate cancer is classified as an adenocarcinoma cancer that begins when normal semen secreting prostate gland cells mutate into cancer cells. Specific examples include mutations on chromosome legion 3P14, 8P, and 8Q, among others. The cancer is most common within the peripheral zone of the prostate gland. Initially, small clumps of cancer cells remain confined to otherwise normal prostate glands, a condition known as carcinoma in situ, or prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia, or PIN, which has been linked as a cancer precursor. Over time, these cancer cells begin to multiply and spread to the surrounding prostate tissue, forming a tumor. This enlargement of the prostate also causes the symptoms that occur. Eventually, the tumor may grow large enough to invade nearby organs, such as the seminal vesicles or the lectum, or the tumor cells may develop the ability to travel in the bloodstream and lymphatic system. Prostate cancer is considered a malignant tumor because it invades other organs through metastasis. Prostate cancer most commonly metastasizes to the bones, lymph nodes, lanctum, and bladder. The prostate is a zinc-accumulating, citrate-producing organ. The protein ZIP1 is responsible for the active transport of zinc into prostate cells. One of zinc's important roles is to change the metabolism of the cell in order to produce citrate, an important component of semen. Prostate cells are generally devoid of zinc. This allows prostate cancer cells to save energy not making citrate and utilize the new abundance of energy to glow and spread. The absence of zinc is thought to occur via silencing of the gene that produces the transport portal protein ZIP1. Growth of cancer cells has also been linked to androgen receptors on the cell membrane. These receptors regulate androgens, male sex hormones such as testosterone, which are used by cancer cells for growth and survival. The prostate-specific antigen is a protein made by the cells of the prostate gland and acts as a tumor marker. A PSA test measures the amount of this protein in the blood and high levels may indicate cancer. For men younger than 50 years old, the normal PSA range is between 0 and 2.5. Prostate Cancer Canada recommends getting a PSA test to establish a baseline for every man over the age of 40. Depending on the situation, The treatment options for men with prostate cancer might include expectant management or active surveillance, surgery, radiation therapy, cryosurgery or cryotherapy, hormone therapy, chemotherapy, vaccine treatment, bone-directed treatment. These treatments are generally used one at a time, although in some cases they may be combined. Thank you.